hello guys in this video I am going to show you how we can add glossary learning interaction in Captivate 8 to add this interaction first click on interactions then select option called learning interactions here you can see there are different kind of interactions are there in that one choose this glossary option then click on insert when you will click on insert option another window will be opened as you can see there are different themes are available in Captivate 8 you can choose whatever the theme you want here and if you want to customize those themes you can do that one also in Captivate 8 to customize any theme you need to select that uh, theme then click on this custom option then you need to select what you want to customize then you can customize those colors you can see here that is reflecting here so whatever the color I will choose from this color box that will be reflected here so like this you can uh, customize uh, text of this one also you can see that is reflecting here so if you want to customize uh, it to different color or different font size you can do in this captivate it also so right now I have chosen only this uh, default theme that is theme 1 you can see here by default Captivate have added some of the text here like Adobe Captivate e-learning different uh, words are added here so if you want to delete these words first you need to select on that one then you can see there is a minus mark so you need to click on that one that letter will be deleted from this interactivity so and if you want to add more letters click on this add word option that is plus mark then you can see here there is a option called term so here you need to mention what is the term you want to add so I, I am going to add some acronyms to this interaction so that is www then world wide web so this is the first acronym so after adding term and definition click on add so it will be added on this interaction as you can see here this is added here World Wide Web if you want to add another word or uh, another acronym so you can click on add word again I will add another acronym here SCOM that is shareable content object reference reference model then click on add you can see here that is added here suppose if you have already created some of the acronyms or words you want to import it to this captivity yet, you can do that one also using this import option but the thing is those should be in XML format then only you can import it to this Captivate 8 so after adding this click on OK this will be added to the screen and you can move it and you can resize this also to check this interactivity how it will look to the users you can preview this one to preview click on preview and uh, choose option project you can see here glossary interactivity is added on the screen and you can also see whatever the words which we have added only those letters are highlighted or shown in white color here so that and only those letters are clickable to the users here when user will click on those particular letters the words which starts with those letters will be shown to the users like this as you can see here so we have added uh, two acronyms here just I want to see that one so uh, first one is www so on click of www you can see description about that one is shown here so I have added another one that is com so I on click of that uh, com you can see shareable content object reference model so this is created uh, now so this is how we can create uh, 
glossary interaction in captivate 8 thanks guys for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel e4 e-learning and like this video